Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic World 3, Jurassic Park 6. We're deep in the rabbit hole now, Dino fans. Look, um, I'm going to start off by saying my humble opinion is I've seen what people are saying online, and I think it's... I think the movie is unfairly polarizing. Like, there doesn't seem to be any middle ground. It seems to be like one extreme versus the other. There are people genuinely praising this movie. One person, for example, in that uh, in that in that out of theater reaction video I did, the link to that is above. Um, there was a comment there going, "Oh, this movie was brilliant." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? It's not. Um, but conversely, I'm seeing a lot of media outlets going, this is the worst Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World movie. This is the worst Jurassic movie in the franchise. This is terrible. It's not. <laughs> so allow me, if I may, to provide what I hope will be some middle ground. Um, Jurassic World Dominion is guilty. I mean, some people have said that the plot is, is, is convoluted. It's not convoluted because it's too simple to be convoluted. Um, some people have said that the plot is stupid. That I agree with. Because <laughs> you, you can't undo what happened in the previous movies. Jurassic World, the first one, I actually am an unabashed defender of. Um, what they did with the second one, with the whole human cloning thing, if you know, you know. If not, sorry. Um, I was like, oh, okay, we're taking the franchise in a weird old direction here. And they kind of double down on that in this one. Not the human cloning aspect, but the whole we're not really paying attention to dinosaurs anymore. And that ultimately is what the movie is most guilty of. Um, I'm going to give away a, a basic plot point here to highlight my to highlight the points I'm making. And this isn't a spoiler because they, they literally give this plot point away in the first minute of the movie. Like the whole opening, mo opening of the movie, before you even get that iconic Jurassic Park logo, is this what I'm about to say? So I'm really not spoiling bigger beats of the movie for you here. Um, the movie is not about dinosaurs. It is about, wait for it, locusts. <laughs> Prehistoric locusts. Like, so... The new evil corporation on the block, in turn, have like become Biosyn. They they have used prehistoric DNA to mutate locusts to make locusts big. And the point of this is so that Biosyn can control the human food source. You know, the, the the human food chain essentially. So our food, the food that we eat, grain and cattle and poultry and all of that stuff, they're going to control it all. So we've gone from being like dinosaur disaster movie to evil corporation wants to control the world through capitalism movie and i'm looking at this going i mean that's fine but why like at the end of jurassic world fallen kingdom they asked a very clear question like what would our world look like if dinosaurs were actually in our world and i don't mean in the in this period in time i mean specifically in our world you know it ended with the t-rex and the lion freaking roaring at each other and though we've kind of seen it before at the end of jurassic park 2 what it looks like if a t-rex is plodding around in our uh in our <laughs> in our world it kind of looks like godzilla basically it did say okay now dinosaurs are everywhere in our world what does it look like and the movie for reasons beyond my understanding just doesn't answer that you've got a few scenes where the dinosaurs are messing around with humanity. Notably, there's a really, really good chase scene in Malta, which you will have seen in the trailers. But for most part, the dinosaurs have all been captured. They've all been put in like this biosphere up in the Dolomite Mountains. And the movie does not address what would happen if dinosaurs lived in our world. It's kind of like they're just there, kind of in the background. And that's the movie's biggest crime. It's the fact that we've gone from monster movie slash disaster movie way back in 1993 with the original Jurassic Park, you know, human story to survival and again against, you know, greater odds against dinosaurs, against monsters, essentially, to humans versus humans, evil corporations, try which are going to be overthrown by paleontologists and raptor trainers. It's like, where are the dinos? <laughs> like, which is annoying because... There are nice dinosaur cameos in this, like the Dilophosaurus, you know, AJ, who, if you watch the channel regularly, and if you don't, by the way, please hit the subscribe button. But AJ, who's my co-host on the Top 10 show, he's got nightmares of the Dilophosaurus, the, the big frilled one which shoots venom at its prey. That makes a cool return. There's 
you know, they, 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 they've kind of upped the, up the ante a bit. They've put uh, new dinosaurs in, like the Demetrodon, which technically Dino Addicts will say is not a dinosaur because it predates the dinosaurs, but there's Demetrodons in this, which is cool. But they, there's such like an afterthought, the dinosaurs, and that's its biggest crime. In a movie that is meant to be about dinosaurs, we are talking about locusts and human control of food source. And the movie tries to deflect from that. It does have, for, for diehard fans of the franchise, for, um, for fans who, who, who really know these movies inside out, there's a lot of nice Easter eggs in here. And I don't just mean with the appearance of old dinosaurs. You know, the way some shots are framed, the way doors open and close. Sounds like a weird thing, but you remember the kitchen scene in Jurassic Park where um, the little girl's trying to like close the kitchen cabinet? Yeah, they've got shots like that in the movie. So if you really know the franchise, there will be Easter eggs in here that you'll be like, oh, cool, I recognize that. But the ultimate problem that this movie suffers from is that when we do focus on the dinosaurs, they don't feel relevant. They don't feel important. None more so than a big, bombastic fight between a T-Rex and a uh, Giganotosaurus at the end, um, which, again, this isn't a spoiler because y you know you're going to have a T-Rex in some capacity in this movie. Like, duh, it's Jurassic Park. But the, the, the fight that they have, my grandmother, who I saw this with, turned to me and went, so they're just going to fight and the humans are going to run away. And I was like, pretty much that looks like what's happening. She went, well, this is old hack. And that speaks volumes of this movie. It's old hack. Despite having some nice Easter eggs, despite having some nice nostalgia acts with, you know, with the original cast back coming back. The movie, let, let's just call a spade a spade. The movie at this point is old hack. And it breaks my heart to say this, given how much I hold the first one near and dear to my heart. The franchise has now run out of ideas. The fact that we've moved so far away from just the, the, the simple core dynamic, which is run away from dinosaurs. I appreciate you can't keep doing that. So you do need to mix up the formula a little bit. But this is so far away from the original product that, I say it again, in a movie about dinosaurs, the plot focus is the human food chain and locusts. Wow. Apple's fallen far from the tree on this one. But having said all of that, having said all of that, is, as I said at the top of the review, is the movie as terrible as people are making out? No. Is this the best Jurassic Park movie or even close to getting or even close to getting close to the greats of the original Jurassic Park. No. It's harmless. It's, it's as I said, coming out of the theater, it's, it's meh. It's very, very meh. So as a result of all that, because it's old hack, because at this point, six movies in, there's nothing new they've done with the dinosaurs that would make me say, you must see it in the cinema for this scene. I, I'm afraid I've got to give it, you know, Dahl M for murder. This movie is getting the meh rating.